1978. That was a long time ago. Hell, it was 10 years before I was born. And that was also the year Space Invaders was released. Space Invaders was developed and published by Tayato, and it was released in the arcade and ported to many different consoles and computers. Matter of fact, there are many variants that were released over the years as well. But the main games were released on the Atari 2600, Atari 5200, Atari 8-bit, and later on released on the Game Boy, MSX, SG-1000, PC-98, and the NES. I'm going to review the regular arcade version and the NES port in this review. Now, the first time I played the arcade version was about 15 years ago via emulation. A friend of mine had a computer with MAME on it, and I got to check it out. I remember hearing my dad talk about Space Invaders a lot when I was a kid. He would also say, Back in my day, we had Space Invaders on the Atari, and we didn't have these fancy graphics. Of course, fancy graphics to him were 16-bit games. Sega Genesis, Super Nintendo, and so on. He's actually seen some newer games today, and he's like, Wow, that looks like a movie! He doesn't follow video games very much, which is understandable. Space Invaders is a shoot 'em up, a classic shoot 'em up, where you shoot a laser cannon by moving back and forth at the bottom of the screen, firing at aliens. The goal is to defeat all five rows of 11 aliens before they get to the bottom of the screen. The farther you go into the game, the faster the aliens become. The more you kill on each level, the faster they will become as well. Pretty much, this is one of those arcade games where you just play until you die and you see if you can get a high score. The scoring system has the alien invaders and a mystery ship. The mystery ship, which goes by often at the top of the screen, 50, 100, 150, and even 300 points. The aliens go like this, 10 points for the bottom two rows, 20 points for the middle and second from the top row, and 30 points for the top row. You earn an extra life at either 1,000 or 1,500 points, but none after that. Space Invaders was created by Tomoharo Nishikado, and he spent a year designing this game and developing the hardware to produce it. You gotta remember, this is in the late 70s. This is what gaming was for its time. Nishikado says the inspiration for Space Invaders was inspired by Breakout, although he aimed more to make it like a shooter rather than a Brick Breaker style game. The graphics for Space Invaders is very simple for its time. You get a black background and everything else is in either white or in color. And the colors are varied to certain releases of the cabinet. The animations are simple and well done for its time. The alien shapes and designs are simple as well, but I definitely like the way they look. Hell, I personally find them to be well-known characters in gaming. The game doesn't slow down or glitch. Nothing I can really complain about. When it comes to the music and sound effects, the music is part of the sound effects. The movement of the aliens is part of the music. It's starts out slow. The more aliens you kill, the faster the music will get. I really like that. It's like killing two birds with one stone, especially for the time of game development. The sound effects of your ship shooting, it's a nice simple bloop and bleep noise, whatever the hell you want to call that. Nothing mind-blowing, but I like it. If you're wondering if Space Invaders is difficult, it can be. The farthest I've ever got to was Screen 4. I got to the third level most of the time, and it's usually my own fault if I die. Moving at the wrong time, moving too slow, losing a ship because the aliens will shoot at you. Is it a balls to the wall tough shoot em up no it's far from it but it can be tough which i definitely enjoy like i've always said in many reviews i like a good chunk of difficulty in my games the controls are simple you just move back and forth and you shoot that's it moving is quite easy and quite responsive same thing with the shooting although you can only shoot one laser at a time and it seems a little slow but that's how it's developed it's not like you can just hold it down and shoot so this is where you have to time your movement and your hits just right and especially your movement so you don't get hit by anything Overall, Space Invaders is awesome. It's a very fun game, one of the classic arcade games that inspired many other shoot 'em ups later on. Granted, it's not the first shoot 'em up ever, but it's one of the most well known for its time. Its gameplay is great and simple, the graphics are nice for its time, the little bit of music is good, the controls are easy to understand, the difficulty is nice. Really, there's not much to complain about. Now, this review is not over yet. I'm going to review the NES or Famicom port of the game, which was developed and published by Taito and released in 1985. It was only released in Japan. It did not have a United States release. So it was just released on the Famicom, which pretty much the Famicom was the NES in America. Just the cartridges did look different. And then there's the Famicom disc system. Now, pretty much Space Invaders on the Famicom is the same exact game. So I'm just going to talk about the main factors of the review. The graphics for Space Invaders on the 
the NES are nice and just as simple as the arcade version. The game does run a little bit smoother, but that's going to happen with this game being released later on compared to the initial release of Space Invaders. The game is colorful. Matter of fact, there's a lot more color in this game than the arcade version. The game doesn't glitch. Really nothing I can complain about. Like the arcade version, the music is the same exact way. The movement of the aliens is the music, and the more you kill and the farther they go down the screen, the faster the music will get. It's really well done. Same thing with the sound effects. The controls are simple. Moving around is easy. Shooting is easy. And this time I think they're a little bit more responsive than the arcade version, which is always a huge plus. Not a lot of the times are the console port when it comes to controls better than the arcade version. Some games, yes, but a lot of games, no. And this is one of those games where I think the Famicom port is better when it comes to controls. The Famicom port of Space Invaders is great. The gameplay is fun, the graphics are nice, and of course colorful for what it is. The music is great, the sound effects are nice, the controls are simple and responsive. Personally, I think this port is just as good as the arcade version, and there's really nothing to complain about except maybe a bonus round would have been nice. That would have been really cool. It would have added more to the game and you could have got more points, but other than that, Space Invaders is a classic in the arcade and home consoles. If you want to check out Space Invaders, the arcade version can be found on MAME, although it was released on the Wii Virtual Console, and can be found on the iPad, iPhone, and even a Flash game out there on the internet. If you want to pick up a copy of the Famicom port, the prices on eBay are pretty decent. There's one on there for one cent. Although with that being in Japan, the shipping and handling will be more than the game itself. There is a copy for $13.99, a box copy for $45, and some for $12. Personally, I'd go for the cheapest copy or something reasonable. $45 is a little bit ridiculous as far as I'm concerned. There are tons of games in the Space Invaders series, plus variants of the game as well. In 19 in 1979, there was Space Invaders Part 2 that was released in the arcade. Then there was also Space Invaders 2, Return of the Invaders in 1985, Space Invaders 91 that was also in the arcade and on the Sega Genesis, Super Space Invaders on many consoles and computers, Space Invaders which was released in 1994 on the PlayStation, Game Boy, Sega Saturn, and Super Nintendo, Space Invaders DX in the arcade, PD Ultraman Invaders, Space Invaders 95, The Attack of the Lunar Loonies, which was also in arcade, Space Invaders 2. Space Invaders once again in 1999, The Invaders, Space Invaders 1500, Space Invaders Anniversary, Space Invaders Revolution, Space Invaders Evolution, Space Invaders Extreme, Space Invaders Infinity Gene, and finally Space Invaders Extreme 2. That is a shitload of Space Invaders games. When it comes to variants, MobyGames.com has five pages worth of variants, and I'm not going to sit here and name all of them because we'll be here for three hours. Hell, I probably shouldn't have mentioned all the official license games, but I did. And at a later time, I will definitely review some of these, if not all of them, or I'll do some sort of video on them. I would love to see a new Space Invaders game. I think it would be something really nice. Maybe go the route of the later Pac-Man games and so on. And just add cool modes to it. That would be really badass. Well, that's it for this review of Space Invaders. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.